Welcome back to the product video sessions. Uh, we uh, go again into the Paperboy plan and into the first phase of the plan. Let's go to uh, the guidance tab and make it a little wider. Yeah. Uh, here you see a representation again of the method that we follow. Discover, prototype and adapt steps. And, uh, in the previous sessions we have demonstrated to you how you can use the value management platform to discover your business model. For instance, by uh, making use of a business model canvas and other types of business canvases. Another type of model that you can use for discovery purpose is the so-called business ecosystem map. And we will uh, show you now how you can use that. You can use both a business canvas or a set of business canvases and an ecosystem map or a set of them in any mix. Uh, you can use one to uh, enter the information and to map it to a business model and visualize it on a, f on a business ecosystem map because that's a graphical map. You can also use the graphical map from scratch, drive everything into the business model from there, or you use them in a hybrid way. In this uh, session, we will show you in the context of the paperwork plan, how you can use it in a hybrid way. So we first will use the already created data coming originally from the uh, business canvases to show it in a graphical way in a business ecosystem map. And then we will add some more information in the map that we drive into the business model underneath. Okay, so let's, for this purpose, because these are the canvases that were already created the previous time, we add a business ecosystem map. Let's say Paperboy Value Network. And it is of type Business Ecosystem Map. So when we create it, it will immediately start. And this is a graphical editor. Over here, you see some symbols. Uh, for instance, uh, a role or a participant like an uh, enterprise and a market segment. And a value proposition and a business model. We will start from the exchange of value propositions be uh, between roles. Roles, exchange, and value propositions. That's the first thing we try here. So uh, this is a role, and let's say we map it straight away, because we first will use some existing data from the business model. So we say it's from the business model uh, newspaper round, or the existing data, uh, and owned by the schoolboy, network, newspaper network, and we want to have it as a role of a partner, a partner uh, called the newspaper company, existing data, right? We select existing data, and in, in the role of publisher all existing. Okay, we complete. And if you scroll down a little bit here, you can see that it has been mapped. Eh? The shape publisher, element type role, as a target element, the role publisher in the business model underneath. Okay, let's make it more visual by uh, loading up a picture that um, sh that uh, represents, let's say, the publisher. Publisher. Okay, USA Today, you see here. Okay, it provides a value proposition, so that's a value proposition shape. Yeah, we can uh, make this curve looking a little bit better the way you want. And let's say uh, from here we go on with another recipient role, and let's map that one straight. Yes, map it. And let's say this should be the, in the same business model, newspaper round. Same network, newspaper network. Uh, this is the paper boy, so that's the, the business of the business model, the owner of the business model. It's an enterprise in the role of paper boy. Again, all existing data. Okay, complete. <coughs> Maybe we load up a picture uh, for easy recognition. It's the paper boy. Here it is, the paper boy. Okay, the paper boy himself has an and a proposition, a value proposition, uh, yes, and uh, yes, place it there, maybe improve, improve the curve a bit, yes, and let's say map this one straight on uh, to the recipient first, another role, and let that one, yes, represent, yeah. okay, map it. Uh, let's say, say, same business model, same business model, newspaper round. OK, 
create a business network, say network, newspaper network. Let this one be the customer. Customer. Yes. And it is the readers. Uh, the readers as a market segment and in the role of subscriber. All existing data, as we had created earlier, as you remember. Okay, let's load up a picture. Read it. Yep. <coughs> okay, let's also map this existing value proposition already to an existing one. And let's say that is the newspaper on the map, if you recall. Newspaper on the map. And everything is recognized already, complete. Okay, maybe also upload a picture there. Something that represents a newspaper. Okay, maybe you save. Yeah. Okay, make it a little bit bigger. Fine. Okay. Save. Okay, so here you see how the publisher has a value proposition not named yet to the paperboy. The paperboy has a value proposition to the subscriber. Oh yeah, you can think about other value propositions as well. We leave it like this. But all of this has been mapped now to existing data. Basically, we visualized existing data. This one, there is no existing data for yet. So now we go into the other part of the hybrid story. Now we map these, this one from scratch first into the data. So we say, let's call this one the paper route. Okay? The, news, the publisher has a paper route for the paper boy. Okay, and everything is recognized here because it's coming from the context knowledge that is captured in the drawing itself. Okay. I give it a, no, no, there is not, not really a picture. Yeah, you can do the same picture, but you can also think about another picture, of course. Okay, complete. But now we will show you when we go into the into the prototype model. Okay, you can see that everything is met. Let's go into the prototype model. Remember, we have discovery models, prototype models. Here you see that paper round has been added. So all these value propositions exist already. We have now added the paper round as another one. You can see here, paper round. Yeah, select it. It is from the newspaper company. Offers what? The paper round to the paper boy. Okay. So far, now you have, 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 have an idea of how you can use this uh, for discovery purpose in the value management platform. So far, we have worked with a single business model, namely the business model of the paper boy. Uh, you can also imagine that maybe, uh, not in this case, but if let's say this one, uh, the participant of this one would have been an uh, enterprise himself, he could work, uh, could analyze things from the perspective of his own business model and the paper boy from his business model. So then you get uh, two perspectives, two business models. And you can use the same tool, including the mapping also, to drive these two perspectives into the underlying uh, model with two business models. So you can really talk about here about an, an ecosystem of interacting business models. Hence, we call it a business ecosystem map. One other variation that we won't demonstrate to you today is, for instance, here you see we depict value exchange of value propositions between roles. But in roles participate participants, yeah, like uh, enterprises or market segments. So you can also show it as uh, exchanges between these participants directly. Or if each participant has his own business model from which he interacts in the value network, you can also use the business model symbol to show it as a value proposition exchange between business models. But all of that we, we won't show to today, but these are just variations that we support. We want to show you one more thing today, really, which is if you see here this newspaper on the mat value proposition, just look into its property sheet, view values, view values. And you know, you select the value, you go out here, you see promptness, stop here. You remember from the previous session that we had created a value promptness entered via the business model innovation canvas because that is a value of interest to the recipient, being the readers. On this ecosystem map, you can also visualize that in context. So when you are on this very value proposition called newspaper on the map, you are able to, to view the measurements, let's say, of that of the values of that value proposition. So here in this case of promptness. And if you would have had more values, you could have shown more values. And if you would have more phases in the plan or more alternatives in the phase, you could have seen uh, multiple bars or curves with evolution in the time, all that. Uh, by this, I think you have uh, a good understanding of uh, what you can do in the discovery phase of uh, the method uh, in the value management platform. Goodbye.